good morning. This morning I'm going to show you how to make some rainbow meringues. They should look something like this by the end. As usual, you'll find the visual strip recipes like this will be on teams and the written recipe with instructions and ingredients and quantities will also be on teams as well when you finish. Okay, let's get started. So the ingredients, as per the picture you've seen, you're going to need, uh, you can need some corn flour. So I need that a little bit and some eggs. And you need some colouring to make the rainbow. And that's all the ingredients you're going to need to do. And the equipment you're going to need, you're going to need a couple of bowls, a couple of whisk things. Put some bowls to make sure different colours and an electric whisk to make that really nice. Right. So, first thing we're going to do is prepare the baking tray. So take a, a flat baking tray, and what I've done is I've drawn my little rainbows on a piece of pastry paper. Okay, and just to show you how I did the little round pictures, I'm trying to do this upside down, you're just going to draw three circles on that side for the clouds, three circles here, just roughly, and then do your arches, round there, round there, round there. Just a rough guide to show you how to do your rainbow. We can move on now to preparing the eggs. So take your large bowl and a jug and your eggs. So I'm going to show you two different ways to separate the egg yolk from the egg whites. So the first one is crack your egg and then gently pry the shell open and then what you're going to do is you're going to pop the yolk into one side and slowly slide it into the other side and the egg white will fall into the jug underneath. And then after each one, pour your egg white into your bowl. It is really important you don't get any of the egg yolk in with the egg white, otherwise it won't whisk. The other way you can do it, this one's a bit messier, you can crack your egg, take the shell off, and if you can see here, I'm just going to pop the egg, it's a bit slimy, onto my hand, and I'm just going to give it a little shake. And you can see the egg white has fallen through into my jug. And then you can pour your egg white into there and put your yolk in the bowl. That's the messy way. A little bit fun, but a bit messy. whites in your large bowl. Next thing you want to do is to take your whisk and you want to whisk your egg whites until they're really really thick. Okay so I've whisked that actually it's only a couple minutes. I've whisked that and that's what it looks like just now and the trick to see if it's ready to add any sugar is to take your bowl and very carefully Tip your bowl upside down and it doesn't fall out. Okay. Next step, take your caster sugar and your corn flour. Tip your corn flour into your caster sugar and mix it in. Now, next step is we're going to then slowly and very slowly add the sugar. If you add the sugar too quickly, too soon, you'll end up with a runny mixture and you want to keep this nice and thick. I'll show you how. Okay, so nearly finished. I'm going to add this little bit of sugar left. One final whisk. should look thick and shiny and glossy. 
really thick, very marshmallowy. Okay, I'm just going to use four colours today. I'm just going to use some blue, some green, some purple and some red. And I'm going to divide it equally into the four bowls and I'm going to put a little bit of the white in one bowl and that's going to be the clouds. So I'm just going to divide the mixture up, just roughly. Okay, this one we're going to leave white. And then we're going to add some colour into these ones. We've now mixed in all the colours and we've left our white. Next step is to put the mixture into the piping bag. Use this way, turn it inside the hand, make a hole and then take your mixture and pop that in. and then tie the top and you want to do that for all of the different colours okay our mixture meringue mixture colours are all in the bags now what we're going to do which is a really fun part we're going to pipe our rainbows onto our mixture paper so we start off with purple put my glasses on for this and cut a small corner off the bag and pipe. I'm going to do this upside down so you can see. So we're going to pipe around there and there. Okay, and there's your meringue rainbows, and I'm just going to put them into a cooling oven about 130 degrees. And I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 40 minutes. Meringues have been in the oven for about an hour. Um, I've actually allowed them to cool down. So I'll take them out of the oven. And they should look something like this. So they have cooled down and all you need to do is just carefully meringue the quite fragile, lift them off and there you have your rainbow meringues. I hope you've enjoyed the video and remember the recipes, the visual and the written recipes are on Teams and if you need any help just let me know through Teams if you want any more advice and have a lovely summer holiday. Stay safe. And see you soon. Bye.